I have this project here for this demonstration. Um, if we check on the 3D, it's what we created so far for the sake of um, floor plan presentation for our client. So what you need to do, you need to take this into a next stage of, of this design concept. So what my approach to this will be to start um, transferring the sketches that I had into this. So to do so, I will open the elevation that I'm working with, which is this front elevation here. What I will do, I will use a polyline tool to transfer my sketches to this. So I'll do that, something like that. And then I'll offset uh, a copy of this, maybe use 600. Then I'll do a column there that will be around 800. 800, something like this. And then I'll let me just position it where I want. And then this feature to be connected to this column. And then I can drop it down there by at least 1.2. So same thing to here. And then let's move to the other side. I will also do the same thing. Draw a rectangular. Then X offset a copy. You can hit control. On your keyboard to add a copy and then keep it in the van i think 600 is better then this side i'll i'll open it up and then trim let's just close off this ends just clean up this perfect oh, sorry nice one this is what we want but at the bottom here i want to connect this to to the column so i will set it to there something like that perfect now we have we're good to go we have something that we can work with let's turn this into 3d elements so that either way you can do it on the floor plan or on the 3d view depending on the your ability to work on a 3d so I'll open up the floor plan then let's take a slab a slab tool I'll start with this side and draw a slab like that just there check on the 3D this is what we have I will drag a copy to the top like so then this top one I will offset it to just bring it to there and then I can add another point let me add another point there oh, sorry. just like that and then I will move it to there no 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 sorry about that to here nice one then I'm going to take a wall tool then I'm going to change the thickness to 800 and what you need also to do is to check the material has to match my my slab which is fine paint and blue white is the surface that I'm been using so I'll draw it like so perfect this is what I have and then remember when well, I say we are dropping this down by 1.2 which is the same to this perfect I think what we need to do I will adjust the design I'll move this column to this point nice one and then I'll draw a beam that will go all the way to there. Change the thickness to match the color. I'll make it 980. 
perfect let's just not link it to I'll stretch it to match the height of that so I want to have a significant gap between these two elements so let me just say move this back by 600 and perfect this is what I want to have so I'm going to create now a, a wooden feature to close off this or to close off this frame off so to do that I'll drag this I'll drag a copy of that and then change the material to timber timber structural then let's uh, not overwrite our surfaces and the thickness will be something like 80 the length I will adjust it to 100 something like that if you check on the three on the floor plan this is what you have let's move it to the position we want move it back by two millimeters and then we're going to run a multiplication copy of this along this edge along this call so let's do that uh, I'll space them by 150 something like that take advantage of the selection and group and group so this I'll rotate like so put it back here do the same multiply space them by 150 to that corner move it back by two you can use a, a multiplication by path so that you can just do it once but i decided to do that that that's where it's quicker so this is what we have and then we need to cut away the hole for our window so to do that let's go to the elevation and then before we can do we need to position our window that it doesn't cut half of this element so let me move it there to the edge so now i'm sure that these are these are only the elements that i'm cutting so let's just have a boundary there of a polyline of this window just like that i'm going to use a morph tool to place it magic one there if you check on the 3d this is what we have i'm going to offset it by maybe 500 something like that then go back to the plane view to position this morph should be something like that and check on the 3d let's bring our solid element operation to subtract so this will work as an operator and then this members i'll select just the members that are interfering with this window then add them as a target then the subtraction operation is perfect then we do that i will take this put it under a hidden layer just to do that it looks nice already so i'll move to the other side of the, the house which is here let me just take a, um, the properties of this slab and then Go back to the plan, transfer this to that. So I want this to get its support from this color. And then this will or it will form a part of this balcony as well. So I'll offset this by 1.5 to this direction. So if you check on the 3D, this is what we want to achieve. So I'll drag a copy drag a copy to the top drag a copy to the top that way and then this i wanted to end there but just to create a little bit of a cap so i think around 500 something like that 
perfect we need to close it off this side by using a wall i'll pick parameters of this wall then let's close it off um, change the reference line to the outside that way perfect we can increase the size of this i think thickness i can make it more thicker than 800 let's say maybe 900 or even a meter work with I think it's fine it's perfect this way so I think this one we need to add a, a point here so that we can stretch this to the wall I think underneath also needs to close off here something like that and then I will have a tree. I want to project a tree from this, from this point that will go all over to the roof. So what I'll do, go back to the plane and uh, I'll sketch a hole where I want to allow the tree to grow. So make it a meter by 1.2. Let's just maybe add 500. I think it's perfect then let's transfer this into our slab by magic one to create a hole perfect now i'll have a tree that will run from the ground right there to the top it will create a huge impact to this design so now i want to add or to place the railing in this case i'm using uh, a profile instead of using a, rail, a railing tool i'll use a beam a beam profile I already created um, different types of railings in my profile yes I can use also this profile as using railing too but just decided to use this for whatever reason I don't know it feels faster than the way you can achieve it using a railing too I don't know you can give your opinion on the comment section let me know how how you use this one so then I'll take it in by 100 do the same to this one move it in by 100 then i'll fillet them to have a clean connection this is perfect it's really impressive so what i'll do now can go further and add details to this um to this feature details like maybe a house number review house number review. to do so let's go back to our elevation and um, let me delete all the lines that because are now unnecessary you can see even the elevation looks much better so what i'll do i'll sketch whatever review that i want to achieve in this feature so let me just rotate a copy like so I'll move it somewhere there let me take this right to the edge and then also this to the I want this to run along the length of this beam something like that let's add a point here to create where the plot number will be or the house number will be located or will be placed something like this let me see i can increase the width the width a bit maybe by 120. i think it's perfect we can we can transfer this into our thing but to to, to transfer this sketch you need um a 3d element so i'll use a move tool and then use solid element operation tool so i'll trace off that I'll quickly trace off this just like that. Nice one. And then we have now our morph. So let's go to the 3D to extrude this. Just to have a depth, I will use 500. And then if you check on the floor plan and section here, I want this to show maybe on two story. I'll say home story and 
home and one story up so that it can show on my my first floor let's move it to the position then let's punch it in to create a reveal so i'll use maybe a reveal of 50 millimeters i think it will be significant so let's check on the 3d bring our solid element operation to that way this will be our operator and then this three feature or three elements will be our target then i'll just use a subtraction operation and then execute from there we take this put it under the the hidden layer let me close off this perfect so we need to place a house number there i'm going to use a 3d text object so go to the object object settings and then uh, 3d text you already have the plot number or the house number there you can change whatever font you want depending on the style of your um, your building so just hit ok i'll place it there move it to the position i think it's too big i'll change it maybe make it 200 perfect 200 and then the thickness should be something reasonable uh, let's check on the elevation to position the height of it yeah, i think it's we're moving it right to the center of of this reveal i don't really get the concept guys i think it looks super i think we need to bring it back by by 50 have something like that wow it worked really well it worked really well guys i'm impressed with the results so far so you can repeat the same process the same workflow across all your elevations so you need to start first with a sketch and you transfer that sketch using 3d tools like wall slab or beam to do whatever uh, design feature you want to achieve so yeah thank you guys for tuning in this video if you have any questions comments go down in the comment section below and um, i will respond to every comment or question so thank you once again if